Whoa! Oh, you can go up here! Yeah, I love the clouds wow. up there. It's so cool. Oh, it's all like storm cloudy and everything. Damn, Damn whoever look. themed this should be really proud of themselves. This is great. Ah. Uh... Okay, so we have four seasons to go through. We have unlocked summer. From an endless summer. Zwan. All I can think about is that song that goes like summer, summer, summer from like High School Musical and they made a parody of it that made it about rhyme time and that's the only way that I know that oh. song. <laughs> wow. Because it opens up and they're going, what time is it? And then they edit it, now it's Ryan time. And then it just transitions into a bunch of jokes about Ryan. <laughs> Jeez. Very hungry bake, now. Bake, I need three bake, caterpillars. Bake, 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 All right, so we got our mission. Bake, bake, Let's go. Bake. Was it three? I thought it was five. I just said three. Oh. I thought it was multiple so five. You had to. No, feed. no, 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 no. It, it we, is. It's five. We don't have pain here. You know, we we don't have pain in the fridge. Oh, hi. This guy you has like two You look pretty voices. strong. Can you move this boulder for me? He 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 he. I said, yep. Wow, I go in your what house. strength! Come inside, and I'll give you a reward. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so the water's gotta be up. I get you. Yep. Wonderful. Wow, that red feather really close to the screen looked cool. Yeah, it really is. Back in the day, I wish you could get closer looks at things, because I liked how it looked close up with a lot of detail, and then I realized that, oh, that's kind of, you know, they don't do that because they don't want to expose the problems. Do I need mm -hmm. that? Yes, I do. ba da ba da bum Yes, I Having to kill all these parrots again is, uh, it's gonna be rough. We got yeah. one caterpillar. Eek, mm. hungry animals like caterpillars. Eat me. Sounds way too happy about that. <clears throat> John, do you know the lore behind Salmon Run in Splatoon? That reminds me of that. Um, what lore exactly? So, the lore is that salmonids do not fear death, and they present themselves in delicious packaging because they see being eaten as an honorable way to die, because they worship the circle of life itself. No, I didn't, was not aware of that. Yeah, that's why they fight using frying pans, they present themselves in, like, grills and stuff like that. If you clip the camera inside the grills, there's vegetables in there with them, and the pilots are cooking themselves alive while they fight you. Wild, yeah. absolutely wild. Yeah, it Comple is, so... Completely believable. Splatoon yeah, lore so is crazy. It is, it really is. Like, people think it's a super lighthearted game, and it kind of is, though, but it's like post apocalyptic Earth and stuff. <laughs> is some of this stuff in the Octo expansion that they explain this, or? Uh, I think the, the Salmonid stuff is a combination of implied in game with interviews. Ah, is what okay. Said. Then that, that makes more sense then. That'd be yeah. why I hadn't heard about that. But like, I've yeah, played that's a bit of Octo they... expansion, I just never finished it. Octo Expansion's really fun. It's easily the better of the two single players, though, but it's really hard at times. Like, it's brutal. Yeah, I hated playing it with the Joy-Con sticks, because I usually play Splatoon with the Pro Controller. Oh, and yeah, at the time, yeah. I didn't have mm. any of those hoary uh, split pads. Mm -hmm. And I was on an airplane, so I'm like, yeah, this can wait till oh, later, and geez, then I just never did worse. it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> uh. okay. okay, you gotta need a hit. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't... I don't play with Joy-Con. I, I don't... So, if I'm ever playing Splatoon on the go, I always do tabletop so that I can move the controller independently of the system because motion aiming while holding the system is... Oh my god! <laughs> I saw something yellow was, out of the corner of my eye! I wasn't sure if you had seen that. Went you over to investigate! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. That would have... I would have been stuck on that for a long time had I not just gotten lucky there with the bees chasing me near it. Holy crap! But, um... Yeah, no, I always play tabletop because... I guess if you're on an airplane, the airplane would also mess with your motion aiming, because the airplane's, like, tilting and stuff. Darn it, yeah. bird. I, I tried playing Breath of the Wild like that. I think I had to do Vomito on an airplane, and it was terrible because we kept having to use archery. Oh, wow. And, uh, with just doing archery like that was terrible. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I mean, just ignore him at this point. You're just extending it. Yeah, I guess it. so. I just, yeah. I just wanted the health and wanted him out of the way, though, but I'm losing way more health trying to fight him. Fight this one instead. Cool! Yay. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, it's Well, there are actual Mega platforms Man. this time, so you might do better. Uh, maybe I should go get a charger really quick. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. 
What? That is so weird. I plugged it in for a solid like 45 minutes before we got started. And I thought that would be funny. Well, oh, what? Uh, uh, I feel oh. like it takes two hours to charge a Joy-Con. I might be just pulling that number out of thin air, but uh, it, I'm using the N64 controller. I mean, it's considered a Joy-Con. Oh, 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 oh how unfortunate Ooh, for it. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, um, I've been playing my 3DS again lately. Um, I think the 3DS is still a great system. Yeah, well, modern day. There's a lot of games on it that have never been re have never been re-released on other systems. Uh, unfortunately for Kidicker Uprising, but uh, I uh, I really like it. You can play DS games on it. There's a lot of really great DS games. Um, but playing it again has kind of brought me back to the Dark Ages, where like you actually had to keep something plugged in all night long for it to be usable for just a few hours. I'm so used to nowadays, you plug your phone in for like 15 minutes and it's good for the whole day. Like USB-C changed so much and I'm, I've gotten to a point where I took it for granted and I didn't remember just how long it took to charge things back then because that's when it was normal. I don't think right. it's the USB-C that's the thing. Like that, USB-C increases like the, the speed of it all, the connection at least. Mm -hmm. Or like that's the point is the connector and actually no it can't because it's tied to the USB Actually, if it's 2.0 or 3.0 oh, either way getting off, off topic uh, Yeah, I think oh! it's just batteries have gotten better at charging. That's basically what oh. it is Okay, I thought it was the USB-C like sped it up. I don't think there's actually C anything up there. So. Basically a connector. Oh Well, now it's made it. Yeah, it's all it's also a shortcut up to uh, like halfway up the tree. Oh, so yeah, I guess myself. it is. Yeah, but yeah, I looked it up. Joy-Cons take about three and a half hours to fully charge. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. All right, whatever. Ooh, babe. I guess I'll just go up the normal boring way. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, oh. Nice. Right, you still get hurt. This isn't Mario 64. This isn't your grandpappy's platformer. This is the hip and new young Banjo-Kazooie. Poggers. Pogger. Oh, God. <laughs> I love saying curse things. It's fun. <laughs> Neil admits he loves being cursed. <laughs> oh, hey, I've got a shot down in your history books. You say get mystery bucks? No, nope. I said jot that down in your history books. Yeah. Jot I could not understand you at all when you were yawning. Yeah, yeah. It, wasn't even, it was even more unintelligible the second it time. It wasn't worth like. Uh, jot that down in the history books. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. I can speak tired because I'm always there. <laughs> I remember a long time ago, I was like, John, I don't think I've ever seen you awake. <laughs> That's, that's why I said I was so confused the other day when I was wide awake the entire day. I'm like, this is weird. This is foreign. I don't understand this. Mm -hmm. Is this how is this how normal people work? It's wild. I mean, how do you think I have so much energy all the time? Huh. No wonder people get mm. stuff done. My uh, well, I mean, my whole thing that makes me different is that my brain produces more energy than it's supposed to. So, mm. ah. <laughs> mine I doesn't. Hard, I have a hard time slowing down. Yeah, I spent I spent that energetic day just working through side quests on Xenoblade for the streams and uh, getting my Steam Deck up and running. Ready for doing side mm. quests? A lot of people go like, "Oh, well, this game is so long anyway. Why would I do a single side quest though?" But the game very much intends for you to pick up side quests and passively complete them as you go on. Dude, there's so ah. much good stuff for doing the side quests in that. Yeah, there are. Oh, I almost feel like it's making me too overpowered, to be honest. But it's giving me a chance to practice playing as the more complicated characters because I've got. I've got the main six right now. Mm. I, the, I, uh, ended, I ended just after getting Ricky, so. The side quests are really, mm. really helpful. Um, in later games, they make it so there aren't as many side quests, but the rewards are better. Mm. And they also uh, make it so that you can willingly choose to bank the experience points for later if you got them from a side quest, which is a really smart decision. So you're, you can play all the content and not be stupidly overpowered to the point of trivializing stuff. Yeah. Also, it's like the only way to get money other than just selling stuff, and uh, a lot of stuff needs money, so. Mm hmm. True that. Sting him, Zubbas. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay, okay. We're yeah, doing this, we're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, oof. Uh oh, cut through the wrong end of the animation there. Let's see how he does this time. <sighs> oh my god. Oh god, I can't roll, I have to peck. Got a peck, baby. Oh, wait. Got a Josh peck. Oh, God. They don't drop health. 
Now Murder we the stop bees! Pecking. Murder the bees! You never drive that fast with an infant. I just saved that infant's life. <laughs> Don't get that reference. No, that's Willow. It's what? Willow. Oh, from oh, 1990. It's been so long since I watched Willow. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> hey, Trico. <laughs> it's kind of an obscure line. To be... Okay, there's one left, mm. I think. One yeah. Left. Gotcha. Hello. <laughs> Eat my ass! It killed you. <laughs> You're getting jumpy. bored of guarding it anyway. <laughs> nice. Four down. Hey, that's more like it. That's yeah. four like it. Oh, I was thinking it, and you did it. Mm. <sighs> there are two of us. I've been training long. him, John. Oh, God. You two have been living together too long. <laughs> you have done well, Lord Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed is this, to say the Death is this Star becoming will be completed a Sith unscheduled. thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying he, you're supposed to say the Death Star will be completed on He's over coolly critical. He never listens. It's, it's not all fair. Everyone's fault. <laughs> He's holding me back. No. God, I loved no. Kenobi. Kenobi was great. actually quite the opposite, but yeah. Especially the final episode was just so good. Ah, uh, yeah. So many little things if you're just a big fan of Star Wars. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, we're also watching The Mandalorian. We just watched episode three this morning, or this afternoon. Yeah, we did. It's getting good. I haven't heard anything about the Book of Boba Fett. I wonder if it's good. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh, you do that? Oh, 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 I missed that! Oh, my God, I saw that there was a... What? 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 I thought that was water! It was blue, so I didn't ground pound or anything! Should I need to blow my nose? I'll be right back. No! <laughs> you forgot. Uh, you were already in that dried lake crap. earlier. It's summer. There's no water. It's a drought. I don't know, summer's when you go swimming, man, so I felt like I wouldn't have to worry about Not it. Not Banjo-Kazooie, the game heard you complaining earlier about too many water levels, so they took away the water. They thought you'd be grateful. <laughs> uh, I don't know, there's kind of water here-ish. All right, let's get back to it. Let's redo everything that we did from the top. I can't believe I died like that. I didn't even try making the jump yet. I saw a jump in there and I was like, oh no, and while I was repositioning myself to get ready for it is when I died. That's when it happens. Kind of, kind of on the note of me being a Sith Lord, um... <laughs> I am going somewhere with this. We had that one bumper idea that we couldn't do that I still want to do. So in, in Coliseum 3, when it was going to be in person, uh, I was writing down my bumper ideas, and one idea I had was where I'm Palpatine and I'm trying to recruit people to the side that hates Sticker Star. And oh. like, when I try it on you, John is like when I would fail. <laughs> Wait, sorry, mm. repeat that again? Where I'd be the <laughs> Emperor from Star Wars, but instead of the dark side, I'm trying to convert people to the side that hates Sticker Star and be oh. like, let the hate flow through you. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's the trick. I already have so much hate flowing through me that it doesn't really work telling me to hate something more. It's like, all right, I'll uh, get there naturally. Calm down. You're the chosen <laughs> one. <laughs> Great. Which side of Anakin am I? Am I the one that kills the younglings, or am I the one that throws them off of a off of a railing? Uh, uh. Hmm. Can I say the whiny side that complains about Obi-Wan a lot? <laughs> oh. I hate sand! It's coarse <laughs> and rough and it gets everywhere. <laughs> oh, frick. It's freaking parrots! No, it's because I'm so in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Jar Jar are not the worst part of the prequels, it's the love story. Uh, I've always felt that pretty, way. Pretty awkwardly. I, I genuinely think that the love story, it gets way more screen time than Jar Jar. It's like the main point of the second movie. Um, It's like a constant problem that like concerns the main characters. I just... I think it's way more intrusive to everything than Jar Jar was. <laughs> I wish, I like, remember that mm. rumored story about how Jar Jar was supposed to actually end up being like the Sith? 
Yes. And they just scrapped it. I kind of wish they had actually... I would love to have seen that oh, story come I to fruition. Too. Yeah, me too. It would have been, like, the biggest plot twist ever. Like, it would have been, like, on the level of the original plot twist. I, um... Let's get a Kickstarter for that, guys. It's, it's never how I've been confirmed. It's more of, like, a George Lucas question, and I think he's just remained quiet on whether or not it's true. So, like, we don't actually know if that's the case, but... I know that the actor who played Jar Jar Binks, he actually, like, he did an interview on this YouTube channel that I saw one time, and he was asked about it, um, and he said that he could believe it. <laughs> um, he was saying that there were scenes that they shot for episode two, um, where Jar Jar and Palpatine were having conversations that were kind of sinister, and he says that he doesn't know what happened to that footage, and he says it's probably just was cut from the movie. Um, Man. We know that episodes two and three went through a lot of changes where there was one plan for them, but because of the negative reception of The Phantom Menace, they changed a lot of things. Um, people have pointed out Count Dooku coming from out of nowhere as, like, the big bad of the second movie. So, like, it feels like there would be a, there would have been a different villain at one point. I don't, there's a lot. Like, I don't want to go into every single thing about the Darth Jar Jar theory. It's really interesting, but... Um, I think the most solid basis is the fact that Jar Jar is an animated character, meaning that every movement that he does is expensive and time-consuming and has to be very deliberate. And the way they animated him in The Phantom Menace makes it look like he's doing, like, mind tricks and stuff. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Nicely done. <gasps> nice, all right. All right, well, that's one more thing I don't have to redo. I probably should have done this first, actually, just so I could just do attempts at it and not have to worry about anything else. Oh, well. 